Hi, welcome to ABED 3100, which is business communication. I wanted to give you this quick orientation video so that you can see what is on our course syllabus. Also, I wanted to walk you through how to navigate through course 10. So without further hesitation, we'll move to the syllabus and then to course 10. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you this uh, condensed summer session. Here is our course syllabus for this summer. And included in this, you'll find um, my phone number that you can reach me during uh, the summer session. You can also find my email address. And as I'm going to mention further in this uh, brief recording, is that when you email me, please email me at the sweb at wesca.edu and not through course stem. This way you can get an immediate response. The other thing I want to point out that's important in this um, section here is just looking at when the course meets. And I mentioned this in the email, but there are 17 days to the summer session. It's every day, um, Monday through Friday. It's 135 minutes per day, which is two hours and 25 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, two hours and a quarter. So as a result, we will, you can expect to spend at least two hours of work each day, not including the readings or some of the project work in order to get your um, this course successfully completed. Um, as also mentioned on course den as well as um, on this course syllabus is the textbook. Now the textbook is something that you can buy online that you should buy online. It's a lot in, it's a lot more inexpensive if you buy it online as opposed to the bookstore. However, there is an access code in the bookstore if you prefer to do it that way. And there's um, a little video link to um, the instructions on how to actually download this. But it's very simple. Once you go into Course Den, you can just click on to register for MH Connect and it will walk you through the steps. Um, just to let you know, there is a one week courtesy access. So if you do not have the money right now and you need to wait a couple of days, that's fine, but you do need to register your textbook on this first day of class. You also in this class are going to need to have PowerPoint 2013 or 2016. Um, that's a free upload from the um, ITS department here on campus. Um, you'll also need to have a webcam for our Google Hangouts and for the team project where you'll be um, recording your slides in PowerPoint and, um, and presenting that way. Um, in this course syllabus, it talks a little bit about what the course is about as well as some of the objectives. Um, what we're going to be doing in this condensed session is we are going to be looking at the textbook chapters, doing different practice questions and activities, and then from there, you're going to be applying everything that you read in the textbook to an actual project. The project is going to be a recommendations proposal that you'll be doing for a department or organization on campus. And um, more explanation will be given for that as well. So the couple of things that are important to take a look at on this course outline for this course is that beginning on day two, you are going to have an attendance question that will be due every night by midnight. And if for some reason you miss more than two attendance questions, your grade will be lowered by a letter grade. So it's really important that you stay on top of your class assignments, that you know exactly what you uh, need to do. If um, the, the reason for this is because this is a communication class, it's imperative that you are communicating, whether it be in writing, or speaking through the different assignments that we have or through your team project. So if there's a problem where you know you're going to have to miss something or you're going to need to be absent, please make sure you email me right away. Another thing that's really important that might be a little bit different in this course than other courses is your professionalism. Because this is a business communication course, it's expected that you actually communicate professionally when you speak or write. So when you're emailing me or your uh, student classmates, make sure that you use proper English grammar, formatting, and spelling. Also on your assignments, make sure you also follow those rules, proper English language arts rules, or points will be deducted. If you're writing a business letter and or memo or email and you sent something out with errors or improper English or grammar, it would come 
down on your credibility and make you look uh, less credible or knowledgeable. And so in this course, by following the same procedures and making sure you proofread and double check things, it will make sure that you come across professional and credible in all that you do. The next thing is handing in documents. Make sure that all your documents look, um, again, professional, that you use Microsoft Word, um, save all files with a DOX extension, DOCX extension. And again, make sure you um, look at the different rules for English language arts so that they're correct, so you don't get points deducted. You will have a couple presentations in this course. Uh, two will be informal and then one will be formal. When you do your formal presentation, it's imperative that you dress professionally. Um, luckily, because of this class being online, you only need really your top up to your head looking professional and not so much on the bottom, but you do need to dress like the uh, people in the picture to the side where men will have to wear a tie and a button down shirt and women will have to wear a nice top, a blouse, uh, possibly a blazer, but it does need to be professional or points will get deducted. Another thing too is in this course, you need to make sure you meet every deadline. If not, you will receive a zero. If for some reason you email me and you let me know that there's a problem and you're not gonna be able to meet a deadline, if you do this before the due date, it's very likely that I'll give you um, consideration and grant you an extension. But if you do not do this, you can expect to receive a zero for this assignment, assignment that is late or incomplete. Okay, as you keep moving through the syllabus, you'll see some of the similar things you find in other courses about the credit hour policy, the honor, academic honor, and uh, course withdrawal. At the bottom here on page three, it just reiterates the fact that you need to spend um, or plan to spend at least two hours and a quarter on your coursework for this class, and then it's each day that you will be working on assignments. So please do not fall behind. Every day that you fall behind is a week and um, it's imperative that you stay on top of things. Okay, further on page four are all the assignments with the different points. And I'll be explaining all of this in more detail as we move forward in the course, but there are um, participation projects and course assignments that make up your total grades. There is a tentative course schedule. I also will have a calendar for you so that it'll be easy for you to see things at a glance. And I've also created checklists on a course den so that you can check off all the assignments that you need to do on a daily basis. So you can see here um, what day or what week, what day, the topic and the due dates for all the different assignments. If you have any questions, you can always go to CourseDen or to MH Connect. MH Connect and CourseDen mirror each other so that you can look in both places and know what is due and what's expected of you. We'll have our first exam on Tuesday, June 6th. And again, everything moves really fast. Uh, we'll be working on our team project throughout that second week. The third week, you'll be finalizing the team project, putting everything together. Second exam will be June 16th. On Monday, June 19th, you'll have a team work day. You'll end up recording your slides in PowerPoint and finalizing your team project. Uh, by Wednesday, you'll be watching all the team videos and making comments on YouTube because the videos, well, the team presentations will be put in, converted into a video format. And then there is also an optional final exam um, that you will be able to complete beginning on June 22nd to June 26th. So this is our course syllabus and this will give you a good idea of what to anticipate. But once again, please go to Course Den each day in order to see what is expected of you and what is due. Here is our course den for this summer session. And you can see here just um, on the news tab or the announcements tab, 
There's the course syllabus. I've also included how to use a snipping tool, which is something that you'll be using to do screenshots. And then eventually you're gonna be setting up a Google Hangout with your team. And then there's also a Facebook group for extra credit opportunities you can see on this um, homepage of the uh, announcements. Um, as I mentioned, everything that you're gonna need is under your content tab. I've also um, updated the calendar so that you can see things within the calendar of what's due. So under the content tab, uh, you'll see the table of contents and I have five days posted so far. Um, more days will be posted as we move forward. Um, there's the course syllabus that is also on the front page and I also emailed it to you. There's the MH Connect assignments where you can go to if you wanna go to assignments right away. And then there are um, each day. So for example, on the first day, you'll be able to see, you know, to click here, uh, the video that you're watching, and then these other areas. So for example, registering for your textbook, the new student information survey, the photo upload to CourseDen and Gmail, the pre-assessment survey for communication, the personal personality quiz and reflection, and then there's an activity that you're gonna be doing on MH Connect where you'll create a one minute video to introduce yourself, your personality, and why you will be a good team member. So this is just for that day one. Also, you can go under grades to checklists. And you can see here that there's a checklist that will indicate to you, uh, that will indicate the different assignments that are expected and you can click into these items just to indicate that they are done in order to keep track of everything that you need to do. So um, that hopefully will help you as well. Um, everything that you find in content you'll be able to see within the assignments which will be again located in content. So go there first under the week of as well as any kind of discussions that we'll have everything will be indicated by the day, every day, when you go in. So you don't have to go directly into assessments for um, the assignments or discussions. So hopefully this will make sense as long, as I mentioned, as long as you follow the directions and you actually go day by day, you should have no problem navigating this course and doing a great job and not falling behind. And um, the one thing that you'll see within each of these courses or within each of the days, when, for example, the beginning of each day, it will show you what MH Connect looks like as well. And you'll see that it does mirror what is on course done. This way you can uh, avoid any kind of confusion between the different sections. So hopefully this has been informative and this will help you not only understand my expectations for the course in terms of the syllabus, but also how to navigate through CourseDen so that you don't fall behind and that you um, are aware of how to access your assignments and um, know when your due dates are. So I look forward to working with everybody this semester and you'll be hearing from me as well. So best wishes to you and I'll talk to you soon.